On this e-learning, we're going to show you how to utilize the pedigree module in WiseOption. First, click on the Horse File button, which opens the Horse Management form. Select a horse from the list, and then you click on the button for Pedigree. First option you can build, start building your pedigrees is by simply using the drop-down list boxes and you start selecting horses. And this way you keep going. If you did something wrong and you want to fix it, first thing you have to do is to click on the tools and activate the clear buttons on and off and you clear the option. This way you can start over. Sometimes you will not find the horse name you want in the list. For that, you're going to use this little Add button and add your sire name. Now that name is in your list for next time you need. I'm going to keep doing the process over here. I'm going to add another one here with a kind of a symbolic terms. It's going to be Sire Sire. I'm going to add this one. It's going to be Sire Dam. This one is going to be Sire Sire Sire. This is going to be M. On the next level, I'm going to do the same thing for the dam. I'm going to add. I just did mistake here intentionally. So I want to show you how to fix it. To fix this mistake you clicked on the folds, find that entry that is wrong, in this case here it is, and you remove it from the list. Just be careful because when you fix something or you select the name, this is going to delete all the relationships between that name and other horses as I'm pretty sure this is, was the first one I can delete. And I can select Great Stop again and start over, which keeps in memory my last step. So now that I don't have that one here anymore, this is the Dem Sire, and I keep going with that process. Now you have the tree complete, and uh, once you complete that, you can select the same tree for any other horse in your system. Anyways, option is going to memorize, which is pretty efficient when you have to deal with multiple pedigrees. As you can see, you just select the sire and dam, and everything else is kept, maintained by the system in the background. Once you add a horse into pedigree, notice that you do not need to have them in the horse list as well, saving you some spots in your horse database. On the other hand, horses that you have added here to the list will be present in your pedigree list. Another feature that is available in the pedigree list is when you go there, you can see, for example, all the folds related to the DM file. Just go to the folds button, just like I did. Select the mirror or stallion from the list and you are going to see the list of folds related to that sire or dam based on the pedigree history. Finally, I want to show you that once you go to Wise Option and you have in the mirror management all your steps sync and completed for the breeding log and the pregnancy check where you can go and finally complete the whole process with a full out report. By doing that, Wise Option is going to be automatically updating the pedigree in the horse management for you as well, because it knows the entire history of that horse based on the
breeding record. So, today you learned how to use the pedigree module in WiseOption.